hey y'all welcome to another video it's me simply Tanya renee as you can see i'm out in the garden so that's what we're going to be doing today i need to water the plants that i have i need to put some seeds in the ground i need to put some transplants in the ground we got a lot going on today so y'all stay tuned and see what happens today in the garden since the ground is so dry i need to wet it so that it can become easier to work with It got too hot and the camera kept cutting off but I've put the collars in the ground and I'm getting ready to put some um, diamaceous earth over them so that the um, butterflies the white ones don't get to them also I'm gonna drop some potatoes in my laundry basket because I have planted potatoes in the, there before I'm gonna drop some spinach radishes and carrots and I'm just telling y'all that just in case the camera cuts off again I think that's all I'm gonna do today
so I'm moving everything basically over here right now just because they're smaller things and I can actually get out here and monitor it better but how about <clears throat> how about it was still two baby potatoes in the basket when I went to plant those other potatoes I brought the pot that the other collard plant was in and um, I think I'm just gonna plant um, um, I have I don't know how big they get though because I've never grown them leeks but I have two leek starters in the house I might plant one in this one and then I have another pot that I might plant another the other one in just to see how they do because I've never planted leeks before so I want to see well I tried but they didn't survive so I'm gonna see how that works too since the roots on the leeks aren't strong enough yet they're not like developed enough I did have some green onions that needed to be planted so let me show you those green onions so they'll just start to sprout and grow even more I'm gonna pack them in just <laughs> I keep cutting my head off I'm gonna pack them in some um, they're gonna get nice and tall but I want to pack them in because I normally grow them in the ground but like I said, I'm trying to grow some stuff in pots too. That way I can just come right outside when it's, all, you know, those colder days. And I can just come right over here and just pull stuff. So I'm going to actually sit this over here with the herbs. one of those little butterflies the arch nemesis of the garden was just flying around so I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this um, DE on it because they don't like this stuff So between the blood meal and the DE, I should be able to combat most of the critters and the bugs. Um, I'm going to go ahead and plant the radishes and carrots now and then I'll move on to um, covering everything up. Uh, listen, my camera keeps overheating so I haven't been able to record a lot of what I've done. Um, I'm almost finished for the day, but I dropped some cabbage seeds over here by the collards. I moved my green onions because I have a whole nother green onion plant that was on the side of the house. Um, I put that over here near the collards. And I also dropped some broccoli seeds near the herbs, some more parsley. So I'm going to try to record the last little bit of what I have to do. I'm going to string the peas up with some twine so that they won't keep collapsing. I'm going to drop a few more um, Sugar Daddy Snap Pea seeds and then I'm going to be done for the day. I have covered everything that I wanted to cover to keep the squirrels away. Let me see if I can show you. This is now covered and before the camera overheats again I'm going to try to string up these peas. I don't see if I can bring y'all closer. Um, I need to string up the peas because they're collapsing so I'm just gonna use some twine and and um, string them up to the, to the to the little bamboo poles and the other little poles um, I should have sprayed bug spray on my ear because I think I got bit on my ear so oh and I did radishes I did some watermelon radishes some um, French breakfast radishes and I think I did English radishes also I did three different types of radishes and so that's all i hope that you have enjoyed this today and i'm sorry i wasn't able to record a whole lot because the camera kept overheating i need to cut some of that lemongrass down jeez anywho i'll talk to y'all tomorrow